All right, guys, welcome or welcome back to The Morning Round, the show in which I, Alex Racuglia, a TV commercial director and a software developer, talk about what I feel, what I live in, my, in this very moment while I telecommute from my home to the office. Uh, today is just a little, 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 little video. It's like an update for uh, this content. You know, this app started with this content with the C as a very, 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 very tiny product, less than a minimal viable product, and then switched to something more interesting, more important with, this, with the K. This content, don't worry about this noise, is my old car. I was saying it changed a bit, a bit, <laughs> because it became a more powerful app, because I started thinking about allowing the user to search through the photos using thumbnails and the location of the photo. So you took a photo in New York in 2016, just like me in my honeymoon and you can search and browse through these photos using little thumbnails and then i added the possibility to search through colors dominant colors in the photos and content using a machine learning model that tries to understand what's the subject of the photo okay this was huge and super powerful so you can search for three in 2017 and the color yellow and red and you will find a lot of sunsets with trees with photos shot in 2017. And this was already a version 2.0 of a non-existing app because it added a, an order of magnitude of the power and the strength and the features of the original app. But then I started thinking about why don't do the same thing for the videos? Because, you know, photos are the most common things. A lot of people shot photos and a lot of people are using uh, external drives to catalog photos. But for people like me, that's my job and have a lot of video content why don't do the same with the videos and so i started thinking about okay let's try to grab a single picture of a of a video and and treat it as a photo and that's okay yo. but then i started thinking about i developed an app fcp video tag that does automatic tagging for uh, content in uh, videos and audio and so i started thinking you know what i can go the extra mile and uh, <laughs> stay with me. I can go the extra mile and do a better function for videos. But before talking about videos, let's talk about audio. Because I started developing an app something like seven, six months, six or seven months ago called Music Explorer. The goal is to search for through all the audio files to catalog them and to have the possibility to listen to them because I have a very huge library of stock video and stock audio and stock music and stock photos and stock and stock everything. And sometimes I need to find the perfect music. And I don't, I don't want to buy another one because maybe it's a temporary music, maybe it's a low budget project, maybe it's something completely different, maybe it's something for me. And so I want to browse to all the, the content that I have, uh, searching for something like an hip hop or a, electronic or uh, dubstep music it's not my favorite uh, genre genre because i have a i am a heavy metal listener but uh, sometimes you have to do this kind of stuff i developed this very 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 tiny app that does exactly this and allow me to search through names and type of uh, content and most especially for duration so i want to search for a logo so i search for logo and uh, select the maximum duration for 20 or 30 seconds, then I can listen to all these music. But I, I always thought that uh, it's not enough. And then uh, one week ago, I started thinking about, I want to, to search music by genre, because if I have to do a, a corporate video, I want to do a corporate music, I want to have uh, an electronic soft and something like this. And so I started developing using a free to use data set, a music genre classification neural engine model and it works <laughs> it's it's quite strange because the, the the music i found are subdivided in 10 categories pop music uh, rock uh, heavy metal blues uh, country country <laughs> classical there are 10 genres i think that six or seven of them are quite uh, meaningful but the other three are not. But then I said to myself, okay, let's start with this model, with, with, this, with this base model. And then in the future, I will add more genre and more pristine catalogation. This catalogation works very well. It doesn't say that a track is of a specific genre, but it can uh, catalog the, the, the music using percentage. 
And so you, you can say this music is uh, 40% uh, pop, 30% uh, disco, 20% uh, rock, and so on. And so you can have a quite precise idea of what this kind of music is. And then you can search for the, for the music. And then I started using another machine learning model that I, tries to identify sounds. And then, given the fact that this model is trained with a lot of uh, musical instruments, such as guitar, electric guitar, piano, bass guitar, violin, you can search for the music using this kind of tag. So you can search for piano. And then you can have all the music with the piano. And so I said to myself, Alex, you have to try to integrate this engine, this audio engine, inside this content app. And then I started adding machine learning models. And so the third version of this app, <laughs> and this is very, very funny because the first version wasn't even uh, released. The third version of this app, we will have the media browser engine that allows the user to not only search for files, but search for media files, audio, video, and photos and images. And for the images, using machine learning, you can have a categorization not only for the location in which uh, the photo has been shot or the dominant colors uh, or the date of the shot, but for the content and for the framing. You have a close-up, a medium shot, a wide shot, a panorama. Cool! And that's the same for the video. And for the video too, you can have the content inspection. So you can have, so you can say, find me a video with a doctor and a patient. It's powerful. For people like me, who's tons of stock uh, footage, uh, photos and video, this is a super gift because you can search through all your past project and have a thumbnail of the video. Not only you can have a small preview, five or 10 seconds, five frames per second, a very low, re a very low resolution. You can have the preview of what the video is. Even if the video is on our hard drive that is not connected to your computer, this is super powerful. This is a game fucking game fucking changer. Fucking. Fucking. Very fucking. Un'altra volta. And that's the same for the music. You can search for electronic music with keyboard with duration at least one minute and listen to a very short sample, 10 or 15 seconds of the music. Even if the music file isn't on the disc that is not connected to the computer. This is a game fucking changer, okay? I'm working on a prototype. Yesterday I took a one day of the office and I worked all day on this prototype because I shifted a lot. I integrated these uh, four uh, machine learning models, one that ident identifies the, the, the shot, one that identifies the content, one that identifies the genre of the music, and one that identifies the sound. And so you can search for videos with the genre of music. If you have a music video, you can search for, for this kind of genre in the music. Or if you have a corporate video and you remember the music, but you don't remember anything else, you can search for it. It's a game changer. It's quite powerful. So powerful that this third version changed the name again. <laughs> and so I said to myself, you have to be very, very, very precise of what this app is. And let's forget, let's strip out all the jokes, all the funny names. This app will be named Disk Content AI because it uses AI to catalog content. I think that this verse, first version, the, the first sellable version, we will have this kind of um, search engine and media search engine. But I plan for the future something that can browse through your documents locally and try to identify keywords on your document, text document, RTF, PDFs, Word documents, even pages, I think to have a summarization of this document locally. And so you can file, you can search for documents through these keywords generated via uh, machine learning, via AI. This is something that will come to life in the, in the future. So let's, let's focus on the, the actual version. This content AI, we will include the media browser engine that allows the user to browse the media, even when the media is not connected to the computer. That's it. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for the patience because uh, you're waiting for this app. The trial version of this app, we will have the possibility to scan only one drive and catalog something like 250 media, 250 photos, 250 videos, 250 audio, 
250 music, that's it, because it's a trial version. And if you like it, you will purchase this app and make me very, very rich because I need it, because I just bought a new stuff for the kitchen. My wife uh, convinced me. <sighs> okay, that's all for today. Thanks for everything. If you like me, <laughs> please subscribe to me <laughs> in this channel. Uh, click on the bell to be notified when a new video is, uh, is published. Comment below if you think this app will be a record breaker. Did you know your messy that will be a record breaker? Kudos for everybody who will uh, guess this uh, quote. That's it. And as always, ciao!